Hey guys, so I am headed to the EE farm like I have so many times in the past, usually with River. Um, in fact, last time me and him went together was three weeks ago today, which is the uh, also three weeks since the accident. Um, I'm not too thrilled about, about turning on the camera, but uh, it actually makes me a little bit nervous, unlike ever before in my life. But um, I've had a lot to think about, and you know, part of me wants to pack up the family and find some secluded cabin in Colorado and disappear and never be heard from again. And um, I don't think that a lot of you would blame me if I did that. I don't think it would be wrong if I did that. But when I started this Smith's channel, YouTube channel. Um, we wanted to, we did that, it took a long time to even decide to do that and we did that uh, in an effort to share our lives with you guys so that we could uh, try to be positive role models and it would also challenge us to keep each other accountable uh, for being positive role models and yeah. and I think I, I feel compelled to keep that going, to keep um, and I can't do it as consistently as I did, but I feel like I need to continue this journey so that you could find out how we're doing. And, and it, it keeps us accountable in the same way. We have heard from so many that have been through either a very similar situation or some other scenario of losing a child. And uh, me as an artist, I've talked to so many people over the years, uh, whether it be a, a soldier's family, uh, that was killed in action or someone that was lost to an accident that was, that was a fan of mine that came to the music for healing. Now that I have been put in this position, position that no one wants to be in, but now that I'm in this position, I feel very strongly, and Amber does too, um, that is, it is our responsibility after obviously being parents and taking care of ourselves. After that, I feel like it's, it's our responsibility to... Uh, to continue that that mission to the public, the mission of learning how to heal, learning how to uh, go on with a family that's been broken like ours has. Um, and so I'm going to do my part on, on updating you guys through that. Um, and it's not going to be as often, like I said, and, and it's and I'm not too I'm not excited about it. But um, part of what we're going through right now is. Uh, the healing of our two children and they're doing good and and I'm doing good and when I say good um, you have to understand there's a new baseline you know we, we're we're different I'm a different person than I than I was a month ago um, and I'll never be that person again so when I say I'm doing good it's the new baseline of good it's not it's not the old Granger's version it, this is uh, there's a there's a new threshold um, and 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 keeping up with the kids, making sure that they're okay, because we were all there. You have to understand, uh, the night of the accident, um, I was with all three kids, and we were all in the backyard. Um, one and I were playing gymnastics, the boys were playing water gun fight. Um, the, the events that happened took, and this is really important to understand for, for everyone, as a, especially the parents, um, this whole thing took roughly 30 seconds. And we have a, a pool gate, we have a fence that we built. As soon as we moved in this house, we built a fence with a, a child lock on the gate. And um, so yes, we take that very seriously. And, and during, during this sequence of, of events that as many times as I've gone through these events in my head, which has been a million, um, as many times as I've gone through these, the, all, there's a series of scenarios that happened that were virtually impossible. And River found a way to accomplish the impossible several times. How he got in there, um, we have we have some theories, um, but as far as the kids know, we're telling them that, that River was a smart kid and um, he figured out how to get into a, a child lock gate. The, the other really important thing to talk about, and I know I'll talk about this more as, you know, in months and years to come, is how quiet this whole thing happened. 
um, it was silence. I was 15 feet from this gate, which is something that will haunt me the rest of my life, but I was 15 feet from that water um, doing gymnastics, and um, A, him getting in there is, is an almost an impossible feat, and, and B, him silently getting into the water is, be, is beyond any of us understanding. And uh, the other thing is, he was a swimmer. We swam every day. He was around that pool every single day of, the, of a long Texas summer. And um, there's uh, there's uh, things to, to account for when you talk about a kid that can swim that's really young. You, you have to account for uh, wearing a diaper, which adds another 10 pounds to the body. Uh, you have to account for shoes. If you can't learn how to swim with shoes and with a, a full diaper, um, that, that's a whole that's a whole different deal. The reason I'm telling you all this is uh, partly because it feels good to talk about it. To hit this point home, that you got to you got to love those around you today, right now, because the impossible does happen, and um, the impossible scenarios can happen, and uh, we we just don't know. Um, that be, that all being said. The two kids being there with me when this happened, um, I'd say they're doing really good. As far as I know, especially our five-year-old Lincoln, he's doing he's doing good. Um, London seven, she was she was with me and she um, she carries a little bit harder, you know. But uh, but I would say, all things said, she's doing good. I don't want to talk about too much bad because this is actually a really good day. This is actually going to be a really good day. This is going to be the best day I've had in three weeks. And um, it is, it is, I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in luck. Um, I'm, I'm a man of faith and I don't believe in those things. And so I don't believe that it's a coincidence that it is three weeks to the day that we are, I'm heading to the farm to get these last t-shirts together. And um, these river shirts, the river tribute shirts did really well and Amber and I, uh, and our friends are going to take a check to Dell Children's Medical Center um, where we lost River. And those people were so amazing there that th this will be the first time we, we go back. So that'll be an emotional ordeal in itself uh, being back in those halls, but it's gonna be a very special, joyful ordeal um, to be able to, to give them a, a really nice sum of money uh, that came from you guys. That, that came from straight from your hearts. The hospital asked me if we should bring press because press wanted to be involved today. And my, of course, my first reaction is like, oh no, this is a private family moment. But, um, but here I am with the camera on and I said yes to the press because this is about spreading the word, spreading the word of love, spreading the word of, of River's legacy. And uh, the best way to spread it is passing it through media sources and um, through word of mouth from you guys. It's gonna be a mission that I'm on the rest of my life because what is important to me at this point, I mentioned I could just go disappear and go to Colorado and never be heard from again, but that doesn't do anything for my son's legacy. That doesn't do anything for River Kelly's name. And so we are going to do everything we can to, uh, to spread that love, to spread that joy that he brought us and to, um, to raise money for good uh, to raise morale for good, whatever it costs, whatever it takes, however many years that takes. And today is the beginning of that. And so it's going to be very bittersweet. It's going to be bittersweet um, knowing that he's he's saving lives today, not only with his, his donated organs, uh, but with this money that he raised in his name. Love you guys. Y'all have been there from the beginning with me in, in this journey. I'm going to continue to take you there. Um, I don't know what today is going to bring. I don't even know what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, but uh, let's see. Thank you, guys. Love you. How about that? Who's signing this sucker?
River Kelly. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> President of Dell Children's. Parker Smith. Parker Smith, how are you? Chris Warren. Thank you We want to do the most that we can for not only for our son's legacy, for our gratitude, for what you guys gave to us. And you guys gave us a gift during our time here. And you guys gave us a feeling that we were very special and that our son was very special. All the while knowing that there's many kids here. We're, we're one of many. And as soon as the bed sheets change, another kid comes in. You guys know that better than anybody. But we never felt that. We felt like we were the only ones in the world and that we were the only ones that mattered. And our son was, get, was getting the best care. I want it to be said that after um, River was announced terminal. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. You guys continue to speak to him. You, um, you, 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 we watched you through our eyes, through our grieving eyes, and in, in the worst of times, we watched you speak to our little boy like he heard you, and we were hearing it. You were speaking to us, and it mattered. And I know that you guys love what you do tremendously. I don't see how you do it. I don't see how you put yourself through it. But I thank God every day that there's people like you that love what you do and are so passionate about it. And you spoke to us that day. I will never, ever forget it. And the, the first thing we wanted to do um, We'll start giving back to Dell Children's. I'm just going to reiterate what Granger said that in our worst couple of days, you guys made us so comfortable. And I'm sorry. I pray that nobody else ever has to go through what we've gone through, but if they do, I hope they come here because y'all were incredible. And the staff in the community, Georgetown, and Texas, and everywhere else has just been amazing. And we are so honored to be able to give back to you guys in this way, and we're going to continue to do that. We don't understand why this happened, and we'll never understand, but I promise that we're going to figure out the good. We're going to bring good from it, and we just want to say thank you. What we're holding here is, um, is a testing to a lot of people that love us, and um, a lot of people that love you guys. Let this be a small token of the gratitude that we, we got from you guys. Cheers.